In my niche of active women, we see there's a very, very high incidence of recreational active women and low energy availability, meaning they're not eating enough to support daily life as well as their training. That does create lower bone density, menstrual cycle dysfunction, greater inflammatory responses. So the end result would be hypothalamic amenorrhea. So their periods have stopped, which is that low estrogen standpoint. Mm -hmm. Keeping track of your period, make sure you're eating enough is one of the first stop gaps that we have in the athletic realm. So if we're holding our calories on either end of the day, then there's this big space in the middle of the day where your body thinks it's under a starvation threat. We see after four days of low energy availability, there's a direct impact on thyroid function. So we have to be very cognizant that women who are saying my periods are really irregular, we have to bring it back to the energy function as well. I know, unfortunately, we're still in this environment of aesthetics mm -hmm. and I'm always like, we need to eat. And if you eat in and around your training and fueling appropriately for what you're doing, it has a positive impact on body composition. You're not going to gain body fat. You're going to gain lean mass. You're going to gain bone mm -hmm. and you're going to see a decrease in body fat.